Welcome to the American Red Cross Great Falls, Montana Donation Center. My name is Carmen Madsen and I'm the Recruitment Manager for Montana and your virtual tour guide for the day. On this virtual tour, we hope to share with you the donor experience, the path the blood takes, the processes we take, and more importantly, how important the equipment is to what we do to provide service. When a donor presents to donate with the American Red Cross, we want to ensure the most positive donation experience. We have many blood donors and platelet donors who have dedicated themselves to donating gallons of blood over several years. Many do it for personal reasons because someone in their life has been touched by blood. It may be the father who started donating when his son was in a car accident, or the mother who started donating platelets when her child was diagnosed with cancer and receiving treatment. So we want to ensure that they have a really positive experience because even though the reasons that they choose to donate may be very personal and very vast, they all agree it's because of the need. It's because people are in need of blood to ensure that they are going to have a long, healthy life. To ensure the most positive donation experience, it all starts with safety. We want to make sure we have the safest possible blood. So that means ensuring the safety of our volunteers, our donors, and our staff. When a donor comes to donate, they're first greeted by our friendly volunteers that are very professional. And then they have to have their temperature taken, they would wear masks, social distance, have hand sanitizer, just to name a few of the steps that we're taking to ensure their safety. Once they're greeted by the volunteer and start their registration process, then they would be taken back to our health history area where they would start the process to donate. So once the donor has completed the health history portion, they come here to our donor center area. We have whole blood beds, and then we have apheresis beds. The difference is the apheresis is where they donate their platelets. Platelets only have a shelf life of five days, so it's really important to have a constant supply of blood donors. And then of course we have our whole blood beds, where we have whole blood donors that would donate. They can donate every 56 days, and their, their blood product will last for about 42 days. So at this process, what you have is you have a phlebotomist who will take the blood from the donor. Again, here we follow a lot of safety procedures as well. There's a lot of steps that are regulated by the FDA that we have to follow. And in addition, we do a cleaning after every donor. Once the donor is done with their blood donation process, which takes about 45 minutes to an hour, or about two hours for a platelet donor. Of course, platelet donors get to watch movies, so that's always good too. They get to be done with their donation, and then we take them over to the canteen area where we offer them refreshments to ensure that they can sit for a minute and make sure that there are no concerns with their blood donation and that they have a snack and some water and then they're free to leave. From there, they, if they use the blood donor app, they would get a notification in a few days to let them know where their blood has gone. Donors really like that part. And then also, about seven or 10 days if they use that donor app, they're able to find out if they have COVID or not. Now that we've shown you the blood donation experience, we want to take you behind the scenes and show you the path that the blood takes. And I'll turn you over now to Rana D'Antorno, who's the Director of Manufacturing. Thank you. Hi, I'm Rana D'Antuano. I'm the Manufacturing Director for the Montana and Idaho location of the American Red Cross. And this is the Great Falls Donor Center. This is our receipt and triage area where we receive blood from all over Montana and Eastern Idaho. The boxes and units of whole blood are reconciled in this area to verify that we receive every product that was collected. Once the products have been received, they're taken to our processing area. Units of whole blood are spun in refrigerated centrifuges between one and six degrees. After they're spun, they are pressed to separate the red blood cells from the plasma products. Um, this results in two products from every unit of whole blood. The plasma is then frozen in blast freezers. These are our two blast freezers. They're both over 15 years old and um, we are asking to replace one this fiscal year and one the following fiscal year. New blast freezers are much more economic. They're self-contained and have less um, downtime, less repair. So the blast freezer is designed 
to freeze plasma solid within a two hour time frame. And it um, has a large fan in it and it runs at minus 50 degrees. This is the walk-in refrigerator and freezer. It was custom built in the 1970s and is over 40 years old. This is really the hub of our operation and we use it for multiple purposes. We store all of our finished product that is ready for distribution to the hospitals. We also store our testing tubes, our retention tubes, um, and our reagents. And we perform eco reduction within the refrigerator. This is filtration. It is called leuco reduction, and it is the process of removing the white cells from the red cell product to make the product safer for the patient. This is the walk-in freezer portion of our storage units. As you can see, it houses all of the finished labeled product for both our hospitals and our fractionators. A complement of test tubes is drawn with every whole blood unit and sent to a CTS testing laboratory. They perform all of our viral testing. Results are received back within 48 to 72 hours and allow us to label our blood product with the appropriate ABO and RH and expiration date and to remove any product that is viral positive or not safe for our patients from the blood supply. This is our quality control laboratory. We perform testing on a percentage of product from every product line we produce to assure it meets quality standards prior to distribution to any of our patients. We are running um, hematology samples on our hematology analyzer. This is for platelet count um, to assure viability of our apheresis products. This is the storage and distribution department. We serve 32 hospitals across the entire state of Montana, serving our customers with red cells, platelets, and plasma products. Every two seconds, someone in the United States needs blood. In Montana alone, in the last year, we've collected, tested, and distributed more than 37,000 units to our hospitals in need. But without the freezers, refrigerators, and equipment that Rana talked about earlier, we wouldn't be able to deliver on our mission. So on behalf of the American Red Cross, I want to personally thank the Murdoch Trust for your consideration today. Without you, this isn't possible. Thank you so much.